What is going on guys, Old Shaman here, and today I'm going to be doing my November Sustain the Industry, and once again, I have collected probably a lot of manga for this month, mainly just wanted to focus on two series for this month, however, though, so not a whole lot of new series that I started up, but definitely some ones that I'm starting to complete, as well as some, some that I'm also wanting to finish. First off, just like to kind of uh, do a little minor pickup. I finally bought a Nintendo Switch, and I bought Elder Scrolls Skyrim for the Switch, and have been enjoying the playthrough thus far. So, so far it's been pretty good, and I've been enjoying myself. Also, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, we have the SH uh, Figure Arts Super Saiyan 3 redesign that just recently came out. And so far the figure is really nice. I mean, it looks very nice. It came with the Bandai stand finally, which is super nice. Really happy that it finally has that stand for some of the figures that I have in my collection and is also really just nice to display figures overall. So anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the manga. So the two series that I wanted to focus on were Ultimate Muscle and, bl not Blade of the Immortal, uh, <laughs> Vagabond. And uh, that is basically the two series that I wanted to focus on for this month. Really happy that I got some of these series. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Show you guys which volumes I picked up. So I uh, went ahead and I got Ultimate Muscle Volume 1, and this Ultimate Muscle, okay, has actually really shocked me for how good it is. Um, it's a really entertaining series. Um, it's your classic, basic shonen battle series. It has a nice, interesting spin on the, I guess, shonen battle genre. Um, it's... If I took One Punch Man and My Hero Academia and threw it in a blender and Basically, you have ultimate muscle. From what I've heard, it's basically the spiritual successor to the Kaniku Man series. That is a long-running Japanese uh, wrestling manga that ran in, I believe, Weekly Shonen Jump from like 1979 all the way to, I think, as late as the 80s. And this is the sequel to it. And I have to say, I've been very surprised with reading this thus far. It's very entertaining. The characters... Well, they're not your fully fleshed out, you know, shonen protagonists, they are really entertaining. And really that's what I have to say about the series in a whole nutshell. I would, If I had to give it a rating, it would be like a very low 7 out of 10. But I haven't read too much thus far, so I don't know how the ending is going to be, nor do I know how the series is going to progress thus far. I've only made it through the first two arcs in the series, so we'll see how it goes from there. But thus far, I've been really, in, really enjoying it, and it's actually really gory from what I've read thus far. So that was another surprise for me. So Ultimate Muscle Volume Two. Um, not really the best covers. Um, they're cool, I guess. Um, but another thing I wanted to note about with this series is that it is super out of print. I believe volumes one, four, five, six. 7 and 13 are completely out of print, 0 oh, and 9. Um, those volumes are expensive, and we'll get into those here in a bit, but uh, volume 3. Volume 4. This is one of the out of print volumes, and I was surprised to get a decent deal on this one, so that's an out of print volume right there. Volume 5 also out of print. Volume 6, Volume 8, 7 is out of print, so that's why I do not have it as of yet, and finally we have Volume 10 and Volume 12, which I know you probably want to see the full cover, but Volume 10 and then uh, Volume 12 once again. But yeah, I've been uh, genuinely surprised about this series. I've really enjoyed it thus far, and uh, I plan to collect the majority of it uh, for those of the volumes that are still out of print that I've yet to acquire. Uh, my chances of getting those anytime soon are pretty low because the series, the volumes that I'm trying to get are very expensive, and by very expensive I mean over $100 expensive. So. Any plans of Viz ever reprinting the series? Probably not, um, and those volumes in particular are very hard and sought after, so chances of ever getting those volumes are pretty few and far between. If you are wanting to get this series, your only bet is going to be the volumes. They do not sell this series digitally, and they do not have any plans for a reprint, so Viz you know, basically is no longer even acknowledging the series. 
but they still print the volumes. So if you want to get like volumes 10 through basically 29, it is possible you can do that. Um, they do sell all the volumes on Amazon for a reasonable price, I believe $7.95, so the old cheap Shonen Jump volumes. But yeah, that's Ultimate Muscle. Good series, plan to do a review on it, and so far I'm liking it. So yeah, anyways, moving on to the next thing. So now you guys all know what it is, the vagabond greatness that we left off on at the last manga haul video that I filmed about a month ago, and that is the continuation of the epicness that is Vagabond, and boy have I just been blown away with how amazing this series is. Really upsets me that the series will probably never be finished because the author has just gone on to say that it doesn't need to, and if you want to get a conclusion, then you can just read the book, which I haven't read personally, but I hear it's good, so maybe I'll have to check that out and see if I can get my proper conclusion to the series. But right now, we're going to be continuing to collect Vagabond, and I still have 10 more volumes to acquire, or actually 11, because one of the volumes is out of print, so I've been trying to get a hold of volume 21, but can't seem to get it. So anyways, let's get into it. We have Vagabond of volume 11, and I didn't know if I included this in my last manga haul, so I just brought it anyway. Uh, Vagabond volume 12, which I got on my previous haul, but I, like I said, I can't remember if I showed it or not. Uh, Vagabond Volume 13, which is another hard-to-find sort of volume. Volume 14, which, again, surprisingly, all the volumes around Volume 14 are in print, or they're out of print except for Volume 14. Um, you can actually still buy Volume 14 brand new, which makes zero sense, but other than that, all the other volumes are, like, out of print, so... Volume 15... Volume 16, Volume 17, a really cool cover on this one, Volume 18, Volume 19, Volume 20, and probably my favorite cover in the series thus far, and that is Volume 22. Really like the style of this cover. Um, grays and blues are like sort of my favorite in terms of like color for any sort of artwork So uh, this one kind of wins it over for me um, Really nice looking volume though. I, I really do like volume 22's cover um, But this one gives it a run for its money volume 23 is definitely a really cool portrait of our main protagonist um, Awesome stuff. I really want to do a review on this series So we might see that sometime in the future sometime soon. We'll see um, volume 24, volume 25, and finally volume 26, and like I said, I am just slowly kind of collecting Vagabond. Uh, I'm gonna start, stop, you know, spending so much money on manga because uh, a lot of these out of print volumes, they cost me quite a pretty penny and Vagabond being out of print and also Ultimate Muscle being out of print, the, you can imagine how much money I had to fork over for some of these volumes and uh, it wasn't fun. But I can at least say that I have a majority of the Vagabond singles now and a fair majority of the out of print Ultimate Muscle volumes, which is nice. It's a great addition to my collection and for two series that I thoroughly enjoy. Um, so naturally I am, you know, I'm, I'm okay with the purchase that I had made. Anyways guys, that's basically my haul for the month of November. Um, December I'm sort of expecting to have a decent amount of stuff added to the collection. Dragon Ball Super Volume 2 is going to be coming out in December, which I know how a lot of people feel about that series, but I thoroughly enjoy the manga as well, so definitely going to be picking up Volume 2. Um, also going to be probably finishing up Blade of the Immortal. That's a series that I've desperately been looking for the last few volumes for. Volume 27 is super sought after and also out of print, so unfortunately that one might have to wait a little bit longer. But other than that, the other volumes are pretty easy to find. And then finally, Berserk Volumes 32 and 33. I managed to find an eBay lot for those and their first edition. So hopefully I can get a hold of those for a pretty cheap price. We'll see. And then also, I believe Jojonium Volume 5 came out, and then also another Jojonium is on the way in January. So, thinking about getting those, and then finally freezing, I'm thinking about picking up again. So, we'll see how that goes. 
Anyways, guys, thanks, thanks for watching, and as always, keep collecting manga, and have an awesome day. Peace out.